this is Assetto Corsa competition. And I, I use my English accent there, so it's not quite the Italian uh, ring to it. Of course, you are looking at the McLarens. And they are the 720S GT3s in the green car. We have Dave Gaming in the red car. We have Charlie Martin. And as you can see, Charlie had that slightest edge in the qualifying for this one. So with the timer set to 10 minutes, it will give us six laps of racing action on Monza. It is a very quick circuit, as Charlie said. Probably one of the favorite ones. Not sure on that start. <laughs> okay, we are gonna, we are gonna, are we gonna have a rolling start or are we, uh, we're being fair? Okay, we're gonna have a rolling start. Okay, that's more like it. I was just, I was just questioning it for a second there. So it's gonna be a rolling start. They are side by side. If you don't know, this is actually uh, fairly standard in the uh, the GT Pro Series side of racing. They will have the rolling start. You can even get the helicopter view. Everything is in there. You've got to love these sort of setups for the games as they approach that start finish line. And they're about to hit the gas as soon as they get into that final sector. The line approaching. So Charlie starting out. And away we go. It will be Dave Gaming hitting the floor in the green car and Charlie Martin in the red. At the moment, I see them the other way around, though, which is confusing me because Charlie Martin is in the red team, unless I've got my notes completely wrong. But either way, they do go through the hard chicane and then you floor it. That one, while it didn't look so, so glaring at the moment, it will catch them out, trust me. That is the hard part, and of course these McLarens, as I say, unforgiving. They themselves will be racing, certainly from Dave's point of view, he'll be racing uh, inside first person. Uh, does have the braking line on, though. Not too sure whether that's actually him or whether it's just our observing point of view. Hard chicanes. Does put him well in the lead at the moment, Dave, as he piles on round the corners. Very, very fast. Fourth, fifth gear corners all the way around oh no i think i just saw charlie rejoining the track that's why that's why we see her so far behind it looks like she may have left the circuit in one of those chicanes back there hard on the brakes as uh, we heard in the interview relatively new coming out of the racing world obviously new into the sim racing world when lockdown came upon us all at the start of march up against Dave Gaming, of course, does this literally as his job. Oh, no. That's got a little squirrely. Got a toe on the gravel. That's what's going to happen. As I say, this is this is almost like much more on the hardcore side of things. And, of course, with the, uh, the the more of the sim racing world, this is more into uh, into Max's territory, safe to say. Obviously, I said to Corso, Max, you no doubt raced on this one a bunch of times. This is much more hardcore of a sim than, uh, say, your Forzas. I know I'm throwing you under the bus, but it is. Yeah, yeah it surely is a bit harder to drive now. Uh, we can see that already. Charlie Martin had a couple of mistakes already, but she's getting back there. So let's see, maybe uh, Dave also makes some uh, couple of mistakes and then we're back. But yeah, as you said, it's, it's definitely harder to drive. Yeah, definitely a more hardcore game. Uh, you know, you were talking about having a chance to go into this one, Kevin. This is this is a, a game that you're looking to to get yourself involved in. Is it drawing your attention now? You're starting to see the uh, see Dave leading the charge. Yeah, I love to see that. Um, <laughs> he had a really good start, I think, and he's doing like no mistakes. Um, he's having good pace and. I mean, the color just looks awesome huh, on this car. <laughs> it does, indeed. <laughs> and and the McLaren itself is not an easy car to drive, isn't it? Like, I remember it as one of the the tougher models out there. Yeah, obviously a mid-engine car, so you have a lot more um, like rotation in the car as well. You need to uh, stabilize it a lot throughout the whole track. So it's not that easy to drive. Um, but um, yeah, Monza is also a very difficult track. It's not just about the car. Here, um, you have a lot of uh, hard braking zones you need to break down from 260, 70 down to probably 60, 70, 80 uh, through the chicanes. So it's a very difficult track, not only for the car, but also for, for yourself. 
hard on the brakes for Dave. He's going to pull over in a minute just to change one of those wheels. See whether he can put it on there. He says nine, but I reckon, I reckon there's more. That looks like more to me. One, two, three, four, at least. Uh, I'm definitely, there's at least nine, I would say. Well, see, I reckon he's got a bit more back there. We'll see whether he switches it out in a moment, pulls in the pits and changes things over. Charlie just going over the line with six minutes to go. A lot of work to try and catch up on this one. Hear that car topping out. I did, uh, I did Gamescom a couple of years back. It was the launch of uh, another game, another racing game, Project Cars 2. And we had a, a McLaren 720S on the uh, stage right then. Absolutely beautiful car. Uh, you guys at home, don't forget to get involved. You already saw the voting. Red Team, they've got two of the community votes so far. Hashtag Overtake Challenge. And they're leaving 12 points to 10. Of course, we can see now that Dave Gaming is leading quite considerably in this race. You know, if you were to maybe sway your vote, we, we will be one point difference. We will be one point difference going into the next one. 50-50 currently in the vote. So get yourself involved and see exactly where this one is going to go. Charlie flooring it down the back straight into the hard braking zone through the chicane. Oh, no, just overcooked it a little bit again. And that's the difference, right? When you are in a sim, it will be absolutely punishing. Catches it before the barrier. That's more important. And you can see just how how much it catches it. Just one little tootsie, one little toe. That's all you got to do. Dip it onto that gravel, and it will punish you. Absolutely punish you. Drags that car. Dave looking solid. The Ferrari hat is obviously, you know, guiding him through to victory here. Ooh, little, little heavy on that one. Does manage to catch the braking in the end there. As he continues to push. Coming in now with four minutes to go. Solid, solid performance from Dave Game. And he's going to be having another race later on today as well. He's up against his teammate, his teammate in real life. And actually, you know, Dave Gaming, he actually qualified for his racing license in real life just last week. He raced on the, the Nürburgring um, with uh, Rene Butler catching his license. He's going to be driving for the Butler Pal uh, motorsport team in the Ford Fiesta alongside uh, Jimmy Broadbent, who obviously we've already seen. He'll be racing against him later on the GT Sport. And he'll be on the same team with him, although Jimmy will be racing in the uh, in an Opel uh, Astra. So both of those will be representing when, obviously, real world kicks back in. They will be real life race partners in the Butler Pal Motorsport, which is great to see these guys, you know, transferring their skills from, from the sim racing world, from the YouTubing world, across to real life life racing. And they both actually qualified uh, for their driving license, their, uh, their, their not driving license, their racing license uh, is what I'm referring to there. Because you can't just go on a circuit. You can't just say, hey, I want to race. You go on a circuit, you've got to get that racing license in there. And as I say, Dave Gaming went and got his just last week. Because things are slowly getting back to normal here in Germany. And clearly that experience for Dave is being put to work here at Monza. And ironically, that racing team, it is based at the Nürburgring, and that's what they're going to be racing on in GT Sport shortly. In, uh, I think it's the sixth race of the uh, sixth race of today. Going through seven different games. If you've missed it, where, where have you been? Where have you been? We had iRacing. We had a climactic race between James Walden and the Chem. Uh, Represented G2, I reckon the G2 fan base maybe got involved in the voting because he got the, uh, the the second place point for that one. And then of course we had F1 2019 between Jimmy Broadbent and Maxime. Jimmy coming out on top of that with Maxime making a small error. It does seem to be, you know, it does seem to be errors right at the start of the race that's costing people in this one. The nerves clearly may be jangling a little bit as they go through that little qualification period and start the race off. And 
maybe that focus is not quite switched on enough. And you can see the handling. See, anyone that's watching this will be thinking, Charlie, you know, just, just made that error, just, just tipping onto the gravel a little bit. We've all done it. We've all done it a million times. I've certainly have. And uh, you've got to respect the the nerve to go up against each other head to head here. But it does look like it's going to be a solid victory for Dave Gaming and the green team, which would make the green team their second victory with James Baldwin picking up the first one earlier on today on iRacing. And so we'll be moving through to the fourth racing game after this one. Plenty of action still to go as Dave crosses the line right, and takes a fantastic final victory. Final lap with 30 seconds to go. Way, way, way out in front. I can't even see the timing actually between the two, but ooh, a little bit squirrely there. A little, little bit. Catch the hard on the brakes. Big squeaky brakes now. He's been uh, working those brakes pretty hard. Don't forget, guys, get yourself on the vote. You've got, what, about a minute, two minutes remaining with me and Melly talking to get yourself on the vote. Hashtag overtake challenge. It is going to be currently 16 points to 16 points. That vote, which is currently sitting at 50-50, will make all the difference. One of these teams will be leading with 17 points. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? It's down to you. You guys at home can make the difference and decide. Will, Kevin, of the green team, the captain, who once chased a man around a Nexus many years ago, eight years ago in Poland. It was one of the most historic moments in esports, and he'll never live it down. But he's learned to accept it these days. Of course, he's up against the man representing Team Red Line, Max Benecki. <laughs> Sorry, a tenuous link at best, that one. It's as much as I could hope for. Dave Gaming, though, he has put in a solid performance. He's looking pretty casual and calm. It's clearly... Well, I wonder what wheel he's using for this. Is he using a Ferrari wheel? Is there a Ferrari wheel in there? Oh, 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 right. I hope he's in the barrier. Oh, a little, a little moment, a little moment on the final corner. But it's all good. He's got plenty of time to get himself in there. You know he's going to balls this up. No, he didn't, he didn't. He held it, he held it. It will be Dave Gaming picking up the win there. Fantastic performance for him, taking the victory for Kevin, and that will give them 16 points. And of course, it does also mean that Red Team will also have the 16 points. The green flares, they must have known. They must have known. Maybe it's just the colors of Italy, but no, it was the colors for Kevin Gaming. Kevin Gaming? Dave Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, Kevin TV mm -hmm. is the one we wanted. Kevin Gaming. Well, I mean, Kevin Gaming works, uh, works as well. I mean, Team Captain Kevin <laughs> Lee, thank you bad. so much.